Hey everybody, Johnny Arclight here. Welcome back to Franbo. Today we're going to be playing as the little kitty cat. These are Fran's stockings. One of Fran's shoes. Another one of Fran's shoes. Fran's shoe. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? What? Why is Fran a tree? What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. You're a tree. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? Fran, you're a tree. But how? He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree! I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Whoa! Look at these guys. Hamka Ignimi Hala? Okay. Don't don't understand that. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Can you please tell me where I am, sir? What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Quit poking her. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. What the hell's going on? What are these roots? Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. Stop attacking my friend carrot. Oh, it's a carrot. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. They're vegetables. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, let's go find that purse, shall we? What is that? What is this? There's the purse. Uh-oh. Damn it. What do we have here? Shiny. Oh, wait, can I stick this in the cogs? There we go. Okay, there's the purse. Only because I'm the best. You are the best, kitty cat. Poking her. I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Uh... Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them. Please don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Huh. Why did she turn into a tree? I don't understand. Chapter 3, Vegetative State. So now I'm going to have to cure my vegetableness. Or at least I'm going to have to cure... Well, they planted her. I have no idea what they're saying, so that doesn't help me. Is that like the tree king? King of the trees? King of the roots? Welcome, creature. My name is Zyre. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes, finally, words I can understand. My good friend Rai told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl? 
Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Grew a, she grew a berry. What in the world? This is so neat! Oh my god, I love this! I love this animation style. Hmm, let me see. Oh! I clicked out of it. There we go. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You can see all that? In a seed? Be quiet. Okay, sorry. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. You're making me dizzy. I don't understand what you mean. You are not supposed to be here, Fran. No shit. She's definitely not supposed to be a tree. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Can you help me? You should have never been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? Mr. Midnight. Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? You are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithirsta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Please. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. And where is this? Where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. That would be very great. Only the great wizard can do that, but we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew! Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes I do, and you sound so kind, this is incredible. Did you understand my kitty? You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Oh! It's a beetle! It's a little beetle! I'm gonna be a tree! It's a beetle! Aww. What is that? What, what is that? Oh my goodness! Good day, my name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. <laughs> the 
The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> this is... this is amazing. Here we are. Wow, this place is beautiful and peaceful. Wish I could be here forever. Thank you, this is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velocus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. What is the great Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? No. He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago he was at war with the darkness and one day he fell. His heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Ethersta, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. That sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Ethersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. That sounds terrible. It is terrible, man. Why did I become a tree? You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it. This way your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's a dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. Wow. I did this to myself. Okay. I guess that makes... It doesn't make sense at all. Nope. But, uh... I, I guess that makes sense why she's a tree. She would have died if she stayed as a human. You really didn't know what you were doing, I see. Well, when you traveled to a thirsty, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. Alright, let's get some arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran? Like a beautiful tree. I even have leaves. What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had, and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Alright! I have arms and legs. I can move around. I kind of look like Fran again, in a way. Not really completely definitely not human but I can move here we are again Shozar the king what a nice what if if there's a thirst a nice you've become thank you again doc you have to meet my kitty someday that would be lovely I'll see you soon goodbye you fluffy kitty ah do you like that haha <laughs> here I am Oh, he's such a nice old tree. <laughs> Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. Oh, well, let me see you. What a great Ithirstenize you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water, but he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. 
Palantras will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. The great wizard is the only one who will be able to bring my human body back, guys. So we gotta go find him. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This lane is full of things I don't understand. You haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great wizard lives in the great mountain, Kotram. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the science. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great thirst a day, and good luck finding the great wizard. Is he going to hop on the, the beast? Yep, there he goes. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Palantras. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Sweet. Need that. Do you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Hmm, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Everything's all crazy anyway. Like, what possibly could the pills show me? Yes, the king said something about a mountain too. Yes, Mountain Cotrum. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. All right, and now we are going to journey to find the great wizard. But we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do best, and I will see you guys again in the next one. Goodbye.